Hello everyone. So I am back to do a general reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a general reading. Um, I hope this reading resonates with you. If it doesn't and you have questions, you want to know a little bit more deeper what's going on with you, you can reach out to me um, at Bathing in Herbs at gmail.com and we can set that up um, please like comment and subscribe um, to my channel this is a very this is not a new thing for me it's new for me to do it here and I wanted to start doing it here because it just it, it just really has come upon me to do so this energy with Sagittarius is thick tonight I don't know what's going on also at the end of the zodiac readings which i'm doing i'm finishing tonight um i will be doing the virgo interpretive reading okay Okay, once again, this is a general reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, as I've been saying throughout all of these, if you have placements in all four of those in your, in, in your it's Sagittarius, you are a very strong Sagittarius. So, I mean that for every single sign, seriously. Okay. All right, so the first thing that really was coming to me with Sagittarius is there's like a lot of disappointment going around for Sagittarius, okay? A lot, it, and it was something that came out of the blue. It wasn't something that they were expecting at all, but it came with a major, it came with a major lesson for you all, Sagittarius, a major lesson. I'm not sure yet that this has even fully flushed, fleshed itself out. Like, I don't think you're aware of fully what the gravity of all that lesson is, but it is big. It is a very big lesson for those who are Sagittarius. And that's just the emotional state right now. We're going to move forward. Because outside of that, this, and this looks like this could be... Um, This is some type of emotional thing. So something, and it's not as bad as it looks. So that's part of that lesson. That's why all of this has not come out yet. That's one of the things that I love about the fives. They look worse than what they actually really are. They're going to be able to put some things together and really understand, okay, it's okay. It's okay. Because the death card here represents a brand new beginning. Sudden end and a brand new beginning. It's not just... Um, literally, it, it's regeneration this time. It's going to be transformation. It's that type of deal. But right now, presently, Sagittarius is about getting their money. Once again, we are with the theme of coins. Coins, ladies and gentlemen. Every, I don't think that, I, I wonder if I'm going to be the money reader <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Man. But Aries did give us some love, so, you know, let's see. Let's see what this further is. Um, Sagittarius really, really is about their money. And they're fine with punching a clock. They're fine with making sure that they get their hours, their 40 hours, their 48 hours, their 60 hours. They don't care. They just want to make sure that they get the money. Um, and they're not playing about that. Because they want some big changes. And big changes are coming for them. 
and they're gonna be some pretty good changes. Big changes are coming for Sagittarius. Big changes. Okay, some it's gonna be some it's gonna be a shake up, but not like a bad one. It's gonna be like they're hoping for some income increase. They're hoping for things to change, and it doesn't look like it's going to. Okay, but this card indicates right here there's gonna be a big change coming. And this is not badly aspected. That's a tower card. You got the Wheel of Fortune moving in the future. Okay. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. That's good. That's real good. Because the disappointment looks like because of that and everything that I'm seeing here, that this is about finances. You want your money to pick up. You feel like right now you just live to pay bills. You want to actually enjoy your life. And it's starting to really bother you that you work in extremely hard. Like you don't mind being on the grind, but right now you're not able to do some of the things you really wanna be able to do. And it's not like these amazing things. It's like, excuse me. It's like um, the disappointment is about being able to take trips, um, but not like these super long trips, but like quick getaways. Being able to, like right now, because all your money is going to your bills, you're not able to do simple things like go out to dinner right now, or um, or you, you feel like you're made to sacrifice if you wanna do something nice for yourself or for someone else. And you don't wanna be the person that's always telling people no. But quite frankly, you don't have to. You're a little bit more of, um, a little bit more conservative about your spending, which is very good. That means you're always gonna have uh, like a, a kitty to the side because you don't believe in not having no money. Sagittarius don't believe in not having no money. It's just not who they are. But they want to have more to the side and they want to have more to play with. In addition to paying the bills, the bills are going to get paid. This is just who these people are. They're not playing those games. When these people cannot pay bills, they are beside themselves. But I see here that when life just becomes rote about paying bills, getting up every single day, going to make the donuts, so to speak, and um, come back home, getting up, it's the same routine and there's no spark in there, there's no um, all of a sudden, oh, I, I got on the road, I could do this, I was able to do that, I was able to take a quick trip to um, this city here, I was able to go there, it just spur of the moment. Right now, their life feels like it's ordered right in front of them, boom, 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 one step right before itself, okay? And they've been wanting some change in their life. They've been wanting some major change in their life. They really have. That's why they're like, can this can this part of the of the of the life change now? Because I'm about sick and tired of this. It is time for my life to pick up and for things to take off and be better. That's how Sagittarius is feeling right now. They're like, come on, I'll put in that work. These are people who do not mind working in the factories, who do not mind doing, you know, hard laborer jobs. Um, these are people who are willing to punch a clock. These are people who are willing to do, they're not, I won't say, they're, they're, they're down to earth people. That doesn't mean they don't have, um, jobs in, um, white collar America. It doesn't mean that that's not the case or they're not creatives and stuff like that. But these are people who at the end of the day, ain't no shame to their game. They're going to put in that work. They're going to work, okay? They're not playing those games. They're going to make sure that the income is coming in. They're going to find a way to make sure that money coming in. They're not playing those games.
They need time for celebration. They really want things to change. And the change is coming because this is the future move. Wheel of Fortune. They got income coming in that's going to help them. And some type of familial situation. That's what Spirit is saying. Spirit is saying that they're going to have enough to be able to help. And it's not just family. It's their loved ones. So that's what this, this Five of Cups is about. This Five of Cups at the top of the reading, and I keep going back to this card, is about, it's like emotionally they are disappointed because they can't, they want to be able to do nice things for other people and not just themselves. Sagittarius are very giving people and they're very empathetic. They think about other people. They have feelings about other people. They just really do. Even when they're moving in their I'm, I'm about me zone, they still thinking about other people. That this is just who they are. And they would like to be able to be in their me zone and, and think about their friends, their family members, you know, they're really cool, like people that stuck by them through some very hard times and give them things. You know what I mean? If their birthday's coming up, they want to take them out for a drink. They want to take them out for dinner. If one of their friends is having a baby, they want to be able to get a nice gift. They, they are ready for life to transform, to change. And quite frank, and hoping for justice, hoping for justice and ready to really Walk away and make a change that needs to happen. I want to get some clarification on this card because it's this. I want to get clarification on this five of wands right here because, like I said, the fives. It's like they're gonna be ready to walk away, but then they're gonna realize, oh wait a minute, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Here come three more wands, and then quickly they realize, oh I got eight of wands here, and boom, this is not as bad as I thought it was. I can't stay here. The rays did come through. Um, the new job did come through. A big change did still happen. It just didn't happen in the way that they envisioned it should happen. I want to get some clarification on this. I want clarification on this for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising of Venus. Okay, I'm going to get some clarification on that five of wands. I'm going to understand it. We're going to do that. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have a Five of Wands popping out of there, and I would like some clarification on that Five of Wands. Spirit, please give us clarification on that. 